Hi, this is the Crave Beauty Great Barrier Relief. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time on sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com, join my Patreon community, or click on the links below. I can't believe I haven't reviewed this one yet. So anyway, Crave Beauty is a really small list of products, but they're all pretty well thought out and pretty good. So Anyway, last week I reviewed the Stradia Liquid Gold, and a lot of people compared this one to it and thought I should review this one as well. So, the Great Barrier Relief is a skin soothing serum that restores your damaged skin barrier while evening out your complexion. The nourishing formula offers irritated skin a reset button by using Tamnu oil and other ingredients that mimic a healthy barrier to replenish what your skin lacks. And I agree with most of that. So, okay. On to my first criteria, the Sarah Score Scale, which is packaging, and I really enjoy the packaging. I really like shaking it up a little bit. Um, yeah, nice pump bottle, very effective. That's about all I have to say. You know what, I will say one thing. This is my second bottle of this. When you get to the bottom of it, it's hard to get out the last, like, tenth of an inch of product out, so... If you can buy one of those little spatula things to scoop it out, you'll want to do that because I do notice that at the very bottom, there's a little bit left. So there we go. So I'll keep that one in mind, but otherwise the packaging's fine. I don't like to have to scoop out the last bit, but it's better than wasting it. Anyway. Okay, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, this does not contain any of those. It's also fragrance-free and has it has maybe just a little bit of an earthy scent, probably from the Tamnu oil, but no real scent or fragrance ingredients or essential oils. Uh, this one's made in Korea, so no issues with that. So ease of use. So they recommend to start with clean, dry skin. Apply one to two pumps. I will say one pump generally is enough to cover my entire face and some of my neck. My neck is very sensitive, and it likes this product. My neck can only handle maybe like one-tenth of the products I use, and this is one of them it handles. Um, so just to use a pump, smooth over your neck, face, uh, anywhere else. Uh, you can also... Mix it with an oil if you want. It works great that way. You can layer your another moisturizer over it. If you have oily skin, this is probably enough. If you have dry skin, you can certainly layer another moisturizer over it. Maybe their oat cream or another thicker product. Um, this one also, if you have drier skin, I can use this in the daytime and apply my sunscreen over without any issues. But if you have oilier skin, it might be a little iffy. You might prefer using it at night because it does set to a little bit of a radiant finish which isn't terribly shiny but depends on how oily or dry your skin is um they also say you can use this over certain dry patches or anywhere on your body things like that you'll just go through it a little bit faster but it works well very nice no issues with pilling works really nice under sunscreen and foundation so yeah so if you have oily skin it's probably one step and you're good dry skin in the spring and summer, this is all I use, but in the winter, this and maybe a couple other layers, and then I'm good. So, there we go. So, very nice. No issues with that. Okay, antioxidants and beneficial ingredients of this one. We've got Tamanu oil. Tamanu oil is a greenish in color oil that's typically found in places like Tahiti, Bora Bora, and Polynesia. All places I'd love to go at some point if we are ever allowed to leave our house again. Okay. Um, it has antioxidant, emollient, and antibacterial properties. It contains the fatty acid, calophilic acid, which gives the oil also uh, really nice wound healing properties. So you'll see Tamnu oil show up. It's become more popular recently. I think Farsley had a Tamnu oil. Well, they call it their like Polynesian oil, which is really nice. Um, some people say the oil can help with pigmentation a bit. I really haven't noticed that, but... That doesn't mean other people haven't. So we've got niacinamide pretty high up on the ingredient list. Niacinamide is great for everything. Anti-acne helps with the skin barrier. It's an antioxidant. helps with skin brightening. It helps do everything. It's an awesome ingredient. Uh, we've got safflower seed oil, antioxidant and emollient. We've got rose hip oil, which is a good emollient oil that also has some regener regenerative properties. Would you like how I said that? Regenerative properties. It's got some regenerative regenerative properties. I can say it, regenerative properties. Okay. Then we've got sodium hyaluronic, which isn't everything. It's a humectin. I'm so tired of it, but whatever. It's never going to go away. We're going to see it in every freaking product for the rest of my life. Anyway. Okay. We've got squalane, a good antioxidant, emollient, and skin identical ingredient. Uh, we've got uh, 
serine, sodium PCA, and glycine, which are all also skin identical ingredients. We've got ceramide NP, which is great. Ceramides are the building blocks of our skin. Dry skin, dehydrated skin generally needs ceramides to help heal it and help it stay hydrated. We've got oleic acid and emollient rich in omega fatty acids. We've got soybean sterols, which are also emollients. Oat kernel flour, skin soothing ingredient, antioxidant and emollient. Uh, vitamin E, also an emollient and antioxidant. We've got urea, which is a skin identical ingredient. Natural moisturizing factor and also helps the skin barrier. And people are very confused about urea in the past. It's it's not what you think it is. It's typically derived from plants and it's processed and things like that. I had some people leave a few comments about thinking urea was actually taken from bodily waste. And um, no, it's not. So you can worry free about that. I don't think I put that in my face. So if, yeah, okay. Then we've got hydrogenated olive oil, unsaponifiables, which are emollient in skin conditioning. So a really nice list of beneficial ingredients that are antioxidants and hydrating, soothing, and going to help with your skin barrier, like they say on the packaging and on the marketing. It does have ingredients that will help with the barrier. In terms of animal testing, this is vegan as well as cruelty-free, so everyone can use it. Well, I don't know if it's gluten-free, so maybe not, but okay. So in terms of performance, this one does a really nice job. Hydrating the skin, soothing it, leaving it feeling moisturized without feeling greasy or overly emollient. Works really nicely under sunscreens, especially if you use sunscreens that have a high amount of alcohol in them. I always recommend using a good moisturizer that will leave your skin hydrated. If you're gonna use an alcohol or a, moisture, or a sunscreen with a lot of alcohol in it, use a good moisturizer to prevent your skin from getting too dry from that alcohol. So this one's really nice, works great in that way too. Does contain a few acneogenic ingredients, not a ton of them, but a few. We've got safflower seed oil, sorbitan oleate, butylene glycol, and squalane. So most of those are not highly comedogenic, slightly comedogenic, but if you have very acne prone skin, might be something to think about, but if you're trying to decide between this and Stradia's Liquid Gold, and you have acne-prone skin, this is probably a better alternative. Or if you have oily skin, this one's also a little bit, probably a little bit better. Okay, in terms of the price, so this is the full size, which is 45 milliliters, 1.52 ounces. My math was correct. Retails for $28, which makes it pretty darn affordable, uh, especially the fact that one pump covers my whole face. A bottle like this will last me two to three months no problem. So very affordable. I'm sure they'll raise their price at some point, but they haven't done it yet. So, okay. Then in terms of the it factor, this is a great serum we're checking out, especially if you have dehydrated skin, very dry skin, issues with your skin barrier, over exfoliated, did too much retinol or something like that. It's great. Fragrance free, cruelty free, affordable, well packaged, seems to work well for many people. Daytime, evening, dry, oily. It seems that people with every different skin type and issue under the sun really enjoy this one. So overall, with a 10 being a perfect score, I gave this one a 10. So very interesting. So I'll have to do another 10 out of 10 video because I think we've added some since then. So anyway, definitely worth checking out. So I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to try this and if you have what your thoughts are. So definitely leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much.